Hey guys, it's Sapir and welcome to Python tutorial number 18. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at the advanced string formatting. Okay, Before we can look at everything else that can be used when formatting values, we need to look at the order. Okay, So I'm really going to cover this quickly. Uh, the first thing that comes is obviously the percent sign to tell Python we want to start formatting a value. Next thing that comes are conversion flags. Uh, we can only have one of these at a time, but um, conversion flags for example, I'm not going to talk about them right now, they come later in the tutorial, but for instance an example of a, conver a conversion flag would be aligning uh, the formatted value, okay, that's an example. Uh, next comes the field width, uh, again I'm not going to talk about this because we will talk about that in just a sec. Um, next comes the precision of the formatted value which we talked about last tutorial, so if you don't know what that is go look at tutorial number 17. And finally, the conversion type, which we have obviously seen, because that's the character that uh, we have in any formatted value, which tells Python whether the value is going to be a string or a float or an integer, basically. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the idle. And the first thing we'll look at is uh, field width, okay? So field width is basically the minimum number of characters which are reserved for a formatted value. So, for instance, um, let's look at this. Now, uh, the first thing we have, obviously, is the percent character. Then come conversion flags. Now, we don't have any conversion flags, so we can leave that out. Then comes the width. So, here we have the width. Let's say we have a width of 3. Now, maybe you won't understand this right now, but you will in a sec when we, uh, when we run this statement. And then we have the precision. I'm not going to give a precision, so that's uh, we don't need to worry about that. And then finally, the next thing that comes is the conversion type. Uh, I'm just going to have the conversion type as string, so that's an S. So here, we can see um, the first thing that came was the percent character, then the field width, and then the conversion type. And we skipped out two things that could have been in this. Okay. Now let's uh, supply the value high. Okay. Now, wait a minute, that doesn't look quite right. Let's just print out high by itself. Now we can see here these two are definitely different. Obviously there is a space in front of the first high where we formatted the value, but there's none in front of the second. Now this is to do with the field width. Because we specified the field width to be 3, uh, but we only supplied two characters when we supplied the value, uh, Python by default will fill in the empty spaces, in this case there's only one, with uh, uh, space character, okay, and um, in this case it will put the spaces before the string. There is a way to make it put them after, but we're going to talk about that later, okay. So say we have now, whoops, I'm trying to type in the wrong place. Uh, say we have, let's do the same thing with 3s, but let's supply the value hey. Now here we can see it starts at the edge and we can see all of the characters. Okay, and that's because uh, we filled the f the field width, and so no spaces need to be filled in. So Python doesn't put any spaces in front. Um, so say we then change that to percent four s, and then we gave value hey. Now we would have a space, and if we did the same thing percent four s, supply the value high, we'd have two spaces in front of here. Okay. Um, so, uh, we know what field width is now, we can pretty much use it uh, wherever we want. Um, and field width works with numbers as well, in case you're wondering. Uh, if I have percent for i, and then I supply 10, whoops, um, oh sorry, I supplied a string by accident. Let's copy that, take out the quotes there, my bad and you can see it puts those two spaces in front of the number. Um, so now we know what field width is, we can use it with numbers as well now, and strings. Um, how do we incorporate precision and field width in the same thing? Because both of these are numbers, so um, how, does, how do we make sure Python knows which one is the field width and which one is the precision? Well, let's go ahead and look at this. Uh, so the first thing that obviously has to come is the field width. So let's say the field width is, is 4 again. 
Now, remember when we looked at precision last time, we had to put a period and then the, the precision. So that's how we um, tell Python to stop looking, to stop uh, defining the field width and start defining the precision, the period. The period says, okay, whatever came before, forget that, uh, register it and stop um, registering that and now start registering the precision okay so I could have a precision of uh, let's say a precision of 3 uh, and let's supply the value hey oh whoops sorry I forgot to put the uh, the conversion type in there uh, s at the end there we go so you can see here we get all, th all three characters and because the field width is 4 we have that space in front now let's try um, supplying a value with four characters, or more, let's say more. Uh, actually, no. Let's just stick with four for now. Uh, we'll say went. That's the first thing that came into my head. Okay. Now we can see here the T was cut off from the end, but we still have that clinging space. Why do we have that clinging space? We supplied four, four uh, characters, but it seemed to taken off the end and put the space in front. Uh, the reason is because the precision was 3, so uh, it took the, f the string, and before it uh, applied the field width to it, it said, wait a minute, that's 4 characters, forget the last one, because uh, we only were only allowing 3. And then it gave it over to the field width, and the field width said, okay, 3 characters here, I need to fill in the 4th, so put a space in the front. So uh, that's uh, field width and precision. So if we had... Um, let's, I'll just copy and paste this because it's quicker. The precision as 4. You can see at, it looks completely normal. Now let's look at, um, say we have a precision width of 4, uh, and it's a string. We'll f sorry, a uh, field width of 4, and it's a string. Um, forget the precision for now. And we have hello. So this is actually 5 characters, but the, the, uh, the field width is 4. So what's going to happen? Well, it just prints out the whole string, and the reason is, you you guys were probably expecting it to cut off the fifth character, or maybe you were, I'm not entirely sure, uh, but I, I know I probably would. But the reason is, this is the field width, and if we remember uh, when we first started talking about this, the field width is the minimum number of characters reserved for a formatted value. So you can still have more, but if you have less, it will just fill in uh, the empty characters, okay? Uh, so it's not like precision. Precision, pre sorry, precision will cut down the string or the number depending on what you're using. Uh, but field width will just reserve a certain number of characters, and if there are more, fine, doesn't matter. If there are less, okay, fill in the empty spaces, okay. Um, so that's almost it with width and precision, field width and precision. Just one more thing we need to talk about is using the asterisk with field width and precision, okay? Um, if you use the asterisk with field width and precision, it will um, get, uh, depending on where you're using it, let's say we use it with the width, so we have percent, percent, and then asterisk, and then s, it will get the field width from, um, after you put the percent sign, you need to supply two values, so it will get the field width from the tuple. Now the uh, field width always comes before the actual uh, value you want to give out. So let's say the field width is six, and we'll supply it hello. Okay. And now we have that space in front because we supplied the field width as six, and we gave it hello, which is only five characters. Uh, now if we had both the precision and the width, whoops, as asterisks, and we we'd have to supply two values. Now because the first asterisk, asterisk that comes 